Hey boys and girls, Mrs. Hallemeyer here with Art Recycled. Today we are going to make decoupage paper. Decoupage is when you can take tissue paper or magazine clipping, something of that sort, and use something to bond it to another object. So in this case, kindergarten, first grade, I am going to bond it to another sheet of paper. My first graders at Deerwood Elementary did this this year. Um, and first graders, you can do this again if you want, and then you can make whatever you want out of your beautiful paper. So the free things you're gonna need is you are gonna need <clears throat> uh, glue, and it's just the regular school glue. You probably brought it home um, in the last couple of weeks from your school, I would guess. And you don't need a lot. Like if I had to guess how much you'd need from the bottle, it'd be that much, which basically about two tablespoons maybe of this. And then you want to mix it with water and the mixture is probably a 40% glue, 60% water type mixture um, so that it kind of has the consistency of milk and it kind of looks like this. You will need a brush for this. This type of flat head brush works best, but you don't need this type of brush. You could have a round head brush too. You just don't want a really little brush. You want a brush about this size. The other thing that you're gonna need is tissue paper from your gift wrap box. A real quick, easy way to cut a bunch at once is to fold the tissue paper and then just cut off the folded sides like this to get your loose rectangles. Um, and that's a nice, easy way to get a whole bunch at once without cutting out all these individual squares. So I have three colors here. You do not have to use these colors. You could use tissue paper from your gift wrap box that has patterns on it or is all different colors. You just use what you have. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do <clears throat> is I'm gonna get a piece of paper and it could be lined notebook paper, it could be white paper, colored paper, doesn't matter, anything you've got. It could even be cardboard from a, um, a uh, cereal box if that's what you have um, that works too so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the glue water and I put tin foil behind my paper just to kind of protect the table so I'm gonna take glue water and I'm just gonna put a little bit down on the paper first to get the first one stuck now kids when you do this my first graders again they do this by themselves without with very little help from me what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the glue water and you're gonna brush it over the tissue and you want the tissue to be completely soaked. Now what's gonna happen is um, the, the glue water is gonna sink through the tissue and it's gonna bond it to the paper that's behind it. So as I keep doing this, I wanna overlap colors a little bit just because as you can see, what's happening is that the tissue paper, the dye in it is gonna start to bleed a little bit. Now I've noticed that some tissue papers bleed a lot some don't bleed at all. It depends on what type of dye they were made with. So if they do bleed, great, you'll get some really fun patterns. And if they don't bleed, that'll look really cool too. So as I keep adding my tissue, again, I wanna get the whole thing wet. And some kids I know when they do this with me in the classroom, they're kind of a little bit apprehensive about using too much glue. And this one, you really want to use more glue than not a lot of glue because again you want it really soaked what's going to happen boys and girls if you don't get it fully wet is that it's not going to fully bond to the paper behind it and then when this is dry the tissue paper is going to start peeling off and it's okay to go off of the paper as you can see i'm going off of the paper onto the foil <clears throat> that's not a problem um, if you cut the paper off of the foil when this is done, then the, the foil will just literally peel off the back of the paper and it will separate, no problem. If your tissue paper rips or folds, so I'm gonna purposely kind of uh, get one to fold or bunch up like that, I don't worry about it at all. All I do is I take my brush and I make sure that I push it down flat and again, I get it very, very wet. So that is gonna happen sometimes, kindergarten, first graders. It's going to fold on you. It may even rip. Don't get upset about it. And you really kind of don't wanna try to pick it up and move it because it's gonna be goopy and wet with the glue. Um, the best thing is, is just to leave it and push it down with your brush. So as you can see, I'm almost done here. This is kind of a, it's a really fun project, but it kind of goes very fast. And as I'm getting these all wet, you do kind of want to make sure kindergarten, first grade, if you keep brushing, 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 brushing in the same spot, 
eventually if you're using a lot of different colors like I am, the color that this is all gonna turn is brown. So I kind of get it all wet and I make sure it's all wet and it's all soaked, but then I stop brushing it because as you can see, what's gonna happen is the dye is gonna start to bleed on its own and it starts to mix with the other colors by itself. And what's gonna happen is, especially if I'm using red, blue, and yellow is I'm gonna to start to get different colors, the secondary colors. So when blue and yellow mix, I'm gonna get green. When red and yellow mix, I'm gonna get orange. And when blue and uh, red overlap, I am going to get purple. So already I am done. <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this to the side. Now when this is dry, you're gonna be able to see the lines of where your paper are. So I can even see them here with my scissors. And what I'm gonna do when this is completely dry, and boys and girls, this will take a good half a day to dry. You know, it's not gonna be dry in an hour. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but when it is, I'm just gonna take my scissors and follow the paper and cut my paper out. Then when my paper is cut out, I can take the foil and like this finished one here, I can just peel off the foil like this, and as you can see, the foil will come off just fine. And now I have my decoupage paper that I made, and I can do whatever I want with this. I can cut shapes out of it. I can leave it alone as just a pretty design because it is pretty by itself. But you can see here now how some of that dye is starting to bleed and spread over the paper. So this is a great lesson too to teach kids about colors and what colors can mix well, especially if you don't have paint. So have fun. Remember, if you like this video, subscribe to Art Recycled. That's my YouTube channel so that you can get updates on art projects every week. Have fun creating art.